Hello and welcome back. Um, hopefully now you know the basics about NGY. And um, we're going to start actually creating something now. So go ahead and delete both of these um, both of these widgets and we're going to just create fresh new ones. Also change the atlas if you um, did the first one, first tutorial. If not, just select any other atlas or so I just select any other atlas. I'm going to select the sci-fi and the same thing for the font and I'm going to create a sliced sprite, add that to panel and this sprite is going to be 300 by 400, no, no that's too big 150 by 200 yeah that's alright, okay now I'm going to mm, uh, create a button and I'm going to add two so click two no three click three times oops that was not a good idea let's pull them out All right so now you have three buttons and I'm going to I'm going to call mine I'm gonna call mine helmet sword helmet and shoulders. You can probably see what I'm doing. I'm gonna create a a few buttons, and then um, when the player clicks on them, an icon is just gonna change. You can just use any icons you get just to simulate the same thing or you can go on the wow wiki and just download them from there just find where they are okay now that I've got that I want to create one one um, actually I want to change my atlas to icons and I want to change my sprite and I'm gonna by default make it a sword okay I should not have to move it so that's quite weird huh one two three Three times two, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Weird. I'm gonna move this off here. And this is gonna be sixty-four by sixty-four so I get the best resolution. And actually I'm gonna move it back a bit. Like that. Okay. So I'm gonna save my scene. And I also want now to here I want to jump in my project and just create a button just a button script I'm gonna be using C sharp okay so open that up and also you want to add them to the top so not the background not the label to the top of the buttons like that here it is here's the UI button All done. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, what we want to do is we want to on when the the game starts we want to get this UI button script and from there edit it. So that's basically the mainframe this UI button script. But also, if you wanted to just change the background or um, the label or let's say the background of another object you can um, get that game object um, and you know find this UI label script and change the text inside so that's probably what we're gonna do I'm just gonna rename these so under your sword one or whatever else you have you can go down to label and just edit it here 
in your UI label script and do the same for everything else helmet and shoulders like that alright so I want a public string icon name and then I'm going to create a void awake and on awake which is actually we also want a game object target on awake we want to get target dot um, get component uh, no actually it's get component in children because if you think about it we've got our top script here but we're not we're not actually gonna go for the UI button we're gonna go for um, actually we're talking about this slice sprite so cool it is get object get component get component get component right arrow thing don't know what that is um, UI sprite I think it is UI UI sliced sprite. There we go. And that's how you get a component in um, C sharp if you didn't know that. And then from there you can add a dot and you can see all these things add up at um, show up. Atlas, audio border, KG transformer, um, just, just lots of different stuff. I wanna I wanna get sprite make that equal to my icon name so you can see I'm getting this right here this is the sprite and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this sprite equal to um, you know the different things just by the name inf helmet iron helm cannot um, Hmm. Sprite name then. Cool. Sometimes in Unity, um, NGUI will just seem to disappear like that, or it's going to be in the wrong places, wrong coordinates. Don't worry about that. Just hit play. It's going to re-update, close it, and it's back. Okay. So don't freak out about that. It happens. All right. Now that we've done that, I want to get the name of these icons. First one is going to be my shoulders trimmed. Ah, come on. What is wrong with you? That's so annoying. Doesn't want to seem to show up. Cool, there we go. Um, and that's for shoulders find my button script, add it to my icon name, game object, just drag the drag this icon thingy here. And uh and then we should be able to press play and use it. So shoulders that kind of popped up quite quickly. Alright, okay. Yes, we only want to do it when we click on it. So void on click is the function recognized by NGUI when you click on an object um, of the GUI such as uh, you know the button so once we do that this that's when we want to do this not in the awake function in the awake function I was thinking of getting the UI slice sprite but we can all do that at once so simple fix just go back in also now we won't get errors because it's not loading up straight away hit shoulders and guess what it changes how long has that been good good um, now that we've done textures I want to move on to text um, I'm going to do target dot get component UI label label and also it's going to be in children ah, get component in children 
UI label. Okay. Um, and it's going to be text equals to whatever. I'm just going to do text. And in here we can do public string text. Okay, um, I'm going to change my target from my thingy to my sword. So up here I'm going to drag my sword object here and my text is going to be I don't have this, this sword I guess. It's going to be way big but just to show you how it works. <coughs> so I click on the shoulders and then this text changes I don't have this sword you can see it here it's quite sweet also you can add you can make it um, add lines let's say I was to write it here I don't have this sword as a pre-made pre message I can just do um, I think it's like that yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So by adding this this at sign before it, and then hitting enter, you you're allowed to do multi-line, which is what's going on right here. You can see how I, when I click it, it does two lines instead of a whole sentence, which is quite useful. All right, so that wraps it up for the label. What else can we edit? Ooh, ooh, yes. Go to widget, add a, uh, hmm, slider. No, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Background image, just change the atlas. Slider, bun, 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 bun. Dark, dark, bun. Sweet. Drag that out back to the panel. By the way, you can make it go under, and that will still work into things. It's quite useful for making um, parenting objects so it doesn't like move out the way and stuff. So I'm going to move this here. I just want to make sure I don't go over 20 minutes. All right. Once you get this, once you have this thingy, I'm just going to scale it down to make it look better. I want you to go inside and no, it is outside. Okay. Oh wait, no, I was thinking of something else. Right. This value is basically the thumb value. It's quite useful when um, you want to find out what the value is in, and if you want to set it. So like I did in the demo I showed you at the beginning of the first tutorial, I could increase my camera distance just by um, writing camera dist camera dot um, transform dot position dot Z equals plus equals um, that thing kind of looks like this my my game object well I had it like this dot transform dot you know position and because you can't just do X that will give you an error you have to do um, you have to do transform dot position dot x then then I do my slider value actually no slider value was at the end that moves away so then my y and then my my slider value and then and then my camera was moving back and forth with me moving it all right so let me show you how we can just click this on click of the sword or any other button we can simply
get our target dot get component UI um, what was it slider yeah dot value slider value plus or equal and we're working in decimal points to be honest, just to tell you plus or equal one and then just print out the slider value okay Got to add the F for float. Okay. So now we got this value. I'm going to move it down to zero, and I'm going to click on shoulders. Right. I did not add the reference to my thing. Uh, anything slider. Cool. Come on. All right, I'm already playing. <laughs> so I'm going to click this, and it adds one. Let me bring my slider back down. So look at the the debug. I click it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you can see how this moves. Move it back down. So there we go. This is a um, very I hope useful tutorial on NGUI because I know there aren't many out there and when I started off I was very I was struggling quite a lot because it's it's not a steep learning curve but you know you need to know what you're doing and if you don't it, it takes quite a while to take off so I hope you guys enjoyed these two videos um, please subscribe and uh, hit like and just watch other tutorials I've got if you need any more help on other things so yep thank you bye bye